Life's failures. Written off just like that. I'll give you an example. You rub it back. Okay, so uh, Albert once fell in love with a lady. Beautiful lady she was, beautiful lady. The Duchess. And the Duchess was a very domineering lady. 
She was into S and M. Ah, oh, but poor old Albert speaks Spanish or Mexican. So she kicked him out. And he went home that night. He was very disappointed, dejected. So he sat down on the chair and he turned on the television and suddenly his whole life changed because he was back in love again. It's always got to be one. Anyway, see, his whole life changed because suddenly he fell in love. He fell in love with this television set. It was a really beautiful looking television set. It's sort of square with sort of a glass bit in the middle. And it was a good conversational piece with his friends, but it was a bit of a one-sided affair for Albert. And in two days, he was in hospital having the glass removed in his private parts. <laughs> so, he went on a convalescing holiday abroad over here where I'm pointing. Where tragedy struck again. Because Albert fell in love. Again. This time with his walking stick. Well, I'm not too sure about Albert, seems so a bit of a weird. And I think you've guessed it, in two or three days' time, he was back in hospital having the walking stick removed from his private parts. So he came back from his convalescing holiday abroad over there, to England over here, where we live. Where he entered a home for unsuccessful young ladies, called Dukes. Yeah! But I can see you're getting very upset, but I don't want you to, because every cloud has a silver lining, and every silver lining has a cloud, and every bin has a liner. And it was in this bin that Albert wrote some fantastically boring books. He wrote such literary classics as Romeo and Albert and Midsummer Night's Albert. Albert, the Space Odyssey. Albert flew over the cuckoo's nest. Horror film called Albert, Prince of Darkness. The Return of Albert, The Return of the Brides of the Evil of Albert. And so it goes on. And the big change for him came when he started writing sex books. He had a very, very big one. Called Danish Albert on the job. A big hit for him. And now to the music. Which has got nothing to do with Albert. I was deliberately wasting your time. This is in fact some album. Here we go. This is some music from our album called Duke. And we're going to play some music from our album called Duke. And uh, we call it pretty cleverly, I think. Uh, Music from our album called Duke. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. 